Okay, another one, exact value of cosecant. Okay, so cosecant, negative 19 pi over 4. Another angle that has a uh, negative inside. So in order to find, before I find these, I want to first rewrite this as a positive angle. So the, the formula I'm going to use for this one, this is our even odd property we talked about previously, is going to be this one. Negative uh, cosecant of negative t is equal to negative cosecant t. The negative is going to go on the outside. We'll apply that formula to this one. Okay, so cosecant negative 19 pi over 4 is equal to negative cosecant 19 pi over 4. Okay. Now, uh, you could do the problem all in radians like I've done for a couple of previous examples, but I want to show one example here where I actually work in degrees instead. So this might be an alternative if you don't want to take this and divide by 2 pi and work with fractions. Instead, you could change this into degrees. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this problem working out this process. So 19 pi over 4, I want to multiply by 180 over pi. That would be the conversion. If we want to change it over in degrees, we can. If you do all that, you should get 855 degrees. So 855, we would have to divide by 360 to see how many times that's going to go in there. 360 times 1 is 360. 360 times 2 is 720. If I go one more, I'm going to be over 855. So therefore, I know that I can subtract two revolutions from 855. So I'm going to take 855 and subtract 360 times 2. So again, I'm subtracting really 720 uh, from that one. If I subtract this, what I'll be left with is 135 degrees. So my whole entire problem is, is going to get changed into this. Negative cosecant 135. I've changed the 19 pi over 4 into 855. I know it's more than 360, so I subtract out the extra revolutions, which will take me back to my original starting angle, which would be 135. So now this is the problem I'm going to work out. When I do the three steps for, for these right here, I'm going to be using 135 degrees. 135 would be in the second quadrant because it's between 90 and 180. So I know that the reference angle formula there is going to be theta minus 135. So I'm going to do reference angle is equal to 180 minus 135. That's going to give you 45 degrees as your reference angle. Now I can write that in, in degrees, but since the original problem was written in radians, I'm going to go ahead and write my reference angle in terms of radians as well, so pi over 4. That's my step number one. Step number two would be you're going to apply the trig function to the reference angle. That's going to be cosecant 45 degrees. Cosecant 45, okay, on my table, I don't have cosecant, but I do have a sine. So what you could do here is we know that the sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. So if I want the cosecant, I can actually just write the reciprocal. Now I could also change this into 1 over sine 45, and that would also give me the same answer. Or just know that I would just take the sine 45 and take its reciprocal. That would give me 2 over root 2. Now, of course, I want to rationalize this. So if I do root 2 over 2, I get 2 root 2 over 2, which is going to give us square root of 2 there. So the 2s are going to cancel. So if I rationalize this, I'll get radical 2. That's my answer for step number 2. For number 3, my original one that I had, though, my original angle was 135 degrees. Now, if you're in the second quadrant, so again, that angle would be drawn here. That's in the second quadrant for 135. Okay, all students. That means that sine is supposed to be positive in the second quadrant. Well, if sine is positive, that means that cosecant also has to be positive. So in this case, if I'm just doing cosecant 135, I don't have to actually make an adjustment with my sine here. My value would just be square root of 2. It can be kept as a positive. I don't have to apply anything to it because second quadrant, your sine is positive and also cosecant is positive. However, remember that there is a negative sign right here that I had from the very beginning when I changed the negative angle into a positive angle. We wrote it as that. So because of that, I need to apply a negative sign to my answer here. So negative cosecant 135 is going to be equal to negative square root of 2. So this would be my answer right there, my exact value, negative square root of 2, and here's my reference angle, pi over 4.